is up YouTube and welcome back to Stickman's channel. Now, today I've been requested to make a video for you guys. Okay, the video is going to be showing you how to get your DPS, so damage per second, uh, notification to pop up on your, um, your ARC game while you're playing. So what I do is I host my own server. So this is the only way that I know how to do this. Okay, so what you do is you download a program called ARC Server Manager. Now I'll show you how to get to all of that now in a second. So this here, this is how I connect to my server PC, okay? So I'm just gonna minimize that. So what you do is you go into your Internet Explorer and you type in Arc Server Manager. I'll leave a link to this page right here in the description. And all you need to do is you need to click on this little link here and it'll take you to the download file, right? Now I've downloaded it already, so I'm not gonna go and re-download it again. It's just, there's no point. So then once you do that, you install it. It's pretty basic. You just click next, next, next. You know, yes, you accept to everything and it will install the server on your PC. Then what you do is you, here's your server manager, you right click it, right click run as administrator, okay? You're obviously gonna have to go into the folder where it's installed and send that to your desktop to create a shortcut. So then what you do, when you get into your server, all right, it'll look something like this. And you obviously just change the profile name, change the server name, what it's all called. So as you can see there, mine's Stickman, uh, Stickman ZN, so I need to change this to super modded, not super modded because it's been like that for a while now. Anyway, so then you scroll down a little bit here, and when you get to, where is it now? Right here, where you get, when you get to the chat notification area, right? Where you get hood and visibles, or HUD, or however you guys want to say it, right? Where it says right here, show floating damage text, make sure that box is ticked. So once you change all your settings and everything like that, make sure that box is ticked, and then hit the save button, right? It'll take a couple seconds, and then it'll flash once or twice, This uh, um, the command line, you'll see. In just a second, it'll flash it. Uh, come on. Of course, now that I'm trying to show you something, it's not going to do it. But anyway, so you hit the save button, and then there we go. Okay, hit the save button, and you hit your start server, and it will then. T uh, what it, this is basically is just your I and I file in an app, so it helps you to manage everything, so that you don't have to go and scroll down and look for, make sure this is true, make sure that is false, etc. This is how you do it here. So then all you do is you hit start and it'll start your server and then you'll have your floating hit, um, floating damage text will show up, okay? So then what you do then is you host your server, you go into your, oh, excuse me, you host your server, go into your game and you'll see everything is in there. So then what you do is you then host your server. Now the way that this works is it'll basically use a bit of your resources to run the the, the server and then the rest of it will go towards your game when you're playing it. It doesn't use much resources to run it, but I would suggest anything between um, uh, six gigs to eight gigs to run both of them, you know, decently on your computer. Um, I am running quite a, a, a decent PC, as you will see in the description, um, what specs I'm running. So that is how um, I managed to host the server, but I host the server on a different PC. So those, the host, the server PC, it's just another piece that literally just runs my servers. I run different game servers off that PC and then I just play them from my computer. Now, if you do this, if you haven't set it up to um, run as a local server so that everybody on the network can see it, you obviously have to do port forwarding and a lot of things like that. There are websites, um, if you just um, search an Arc Server Manager port forwarding, it'll bring it up and show you how to set all of that up. That I am not too in depth about. I got somebody else to do that for me so I do not know how to do that. So what you then need to do is you need to then obviously Google that and it'll show you how to set up the port for it and everything else that goes for it. But for me, I got, everybody, I got somebody else to do that for me and then I just host my server and I just come in here every day and I update my mods on the little update arrow there and it updates all my mods and everything works like that. So then, um, yeah, once you start that, everything will work like that for you. Right, so I'll leave a link in the description on how to do all of this. Uh, well, I had to download everything as I said and then you just follow the steps and it will show you how to set it up So when you want to join your server after you've hosted it like this you then go to your your LAN setting uh, When you go to search for server or join a network you go down to your LAN setting So instead of it being official unofficial uh, Whatever you just go to the LAN the LAN and you'll be able to find your own server there because if it's hosted off your network It'll host off through your IP address so it'll allow you to connect it. It won't allow other people to connect to it unless you obviously open up your port forwarding, which will be config configuring your router and your firewall to allow these ports to be forwarded. Okay, so that is a little bit more in depth than I know how to do, so I will not be doing a video on that because I do not know how to do it. I've got somebody else to do it for me. I had it set up. Okay, so 
as always guys if you enjoyed this video don't forget to smash that like button and if you're new to the channel and you've had a look at all of my new stuff that i'm releasing and all the arc things and you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe and as always guys this is your stick man cheers